For Michaela, as for this question, uh, it's about uh, standard deviation for the group data. Hola. So this is the group data. You first have eight up to 90, 90 up to uh, 100, and 100 up to uh, 110. So you get a frequency for each class. The first class is 12, and then 24, and 32. The first step is you get the middle point for each class. So the first class, 85, then 95, then uh, 105, etc. And the next step is you need to get a mean of your group data. What you can do is you use the frequency to times the middle point, and you sum it up and divide it by how many you have. So it comes from uh, like 85 times 12, 95 times uh, 24. So the first one is 1,020. And then the next one is 2,280. You do it one by one, and then you add them up. Anyway, I had also meetings at two, but then I suppose I had to. So then you get a sum is one zero four zero zero, and then you divide that by n. So one zero four zero zero divided by one hundred. So your mean will be. 104. Yes. What is your concern now? The mean is 104. And the next step is for each class, the first class, the second class, the third class, for example, and then you use the middle point minus your mean, square it, and times the frequency. Then you get the first class, 85 minus 104, and square it, and times the first frequency, that is 12. So you get 4, 3, 3, 2. And then you should get a data, uh, something like 4, 3, 3, 2 for the first class, 1, 9, 4, 4. For the second class, 32. For the third class, 3146. Fourth class, 2646. The last class. You sum it up, and then you get 12100. And for the standard deviation, that is the square root of 12100 divided by n. But since this is sample, so n minus 1, therefore you get 12100 zero zero divided by 99. And then you get 11.0554. So this is your final answer.